Hey everyone, Merrick's here, bringing you another video. This is going to be Champs on a Budget, the builds for you, Logan Paul. Um, so if you're waiting for uh, Logan Paul that's not on a budget, that should come later this week. Um, some really, really good stuff there. Some of it's quite whaley to, to set up, uh, but he can actually hit super hard. Um, so I'll be doing that later this week. But this is my Logan Paul on a Budget. So let's take a look. Um, let's start off with the strap. It's the 20%er, like I said, Fury 1s, uh, like we'd have. Uh, skill plate is a sub plate, which I said it would mostly be just sub or MP plates, no ultimate. Um, when you generate three or more submission gems, increase your red and blue gem damage by 100% for two turns. So that's what we're going to run with. Um, like I said, Fury, Fury 2s, nothing special on the move metal. Uh, or sorry, Fury 1s, have it there. Move set, figure four, leg lock. We're running triple uh, purple, by the way. Um, submission, generate 42 sub gems, um, 253k, four turns. Remaining turn into multiply gems of strength four. Uh, corner dodge shop, seven MP, deal 198k damage, make six random multiply gems into pyro gems. Swap all gems above it into purple. So the reason we're focusing on blue with this build is because the purple is really random and I hate random and the blue is way more consistent easier to play and it also makes it faster uh, because you're worried about less stuff we'll get into that as we play dodge strike combo 6 MP um, 181k damage choose seven gems to make into blue gems also it's a hardcore move so if your opponent is a showboat first deal 45k damage and increase the strength of your multiply gems by strength five so I will run them against a showboat as well want to show you guys what it'll be like regular and then show you what he's like against the showboat showboat is essentially pretty close to double the damage output um of what you see against a non-showboat since he has multiply gems of strength four and then it more than doubles the multiply gems so yeah it's basically uh doubling them because you know not every gem is a multiply anyway long story short it's basically twice as good on a showboat as it is on an acrobat we're going against six star silver rays got like 25 million health uh, trainers, I guess I should show those. Uh, Dom adds three to the blue choose, letting us choose more. Uh, Woods is four purple MP. Um, Farouk is two purple MP. And then I don't use these very often. I really don't like them generally. However, in this case, I think it makes sense. Hall of Fame Lawler makes our sub only last two turns. So theoretically, we will keep way more multiply gems on the board. Ray is not your normal ideal target because he's got a bunch of low charge move nonsense. So ideally you wouldn't play someone like against Ray necessarily, but we're doing that. Um, and we lost a few multiply gems. He pinned us, which is not ideal for this build. Anyway, you can see we got a decent amount of multiply gems left. If one of the pyros goes like on the bottom area like this, we only need one row. So that makes it really easy. All we're caring about is the recycle. So this gets us the recycle. And then after that, you want every gem you place. Um, so stay away from the pyro row. Every gem you place to count as a multiply. So, you know, meaning you want to get multiplies with every placement. So nothing, no multiply is wasted. No blue choose is wasted. So that's like your maximum damage output with this. And this is way more consistent than the other builds. You can get lucky a little bit with how they break, get a nice cascade. And it's 8 million damage at silver, 16 at gold. Not amazing, you're pr but not terrible. You're probably generally looking at two to three cycles with this. Um, that's why it's a little bit iffy with only having the sub two turns. Uh, because, you know, they might get loaded that way. Um... Because, you know, you drain them to, then it's their turn, um, and then it's your turn, and you pin them so you don't drain them again, and then it's their turn, so you can kind of, you know, do that math and figure out how that can possibly work. Um, so that's why generally I don't like the two-turn sub-reducers. I do think in this sense it probably makes sense. Um, you'll have to play and see what works for you. If, and this is a big if... Um, if you had another generate blue gem person besides Dom, I would actually run that over Lawler all the time. Uh, but the extra generate blues 
none of them are free to play friendly. Hall of Fame Sting is hard to get. Uh, Devon is certainly, unless you got lucky, you don't have them uh, on a budget. So that's why Lawler's on there for this. I don't like it. Um, maybe it's not even the right choice, but it is a choice. Okay, so this is fine. Um, you might you you can let's break here because that gives us decent rows. Even though this isn't a multiply, that gives us two rows with multiplies in it. And now let's try and focus on hitting our every match with a multiply. So nothing goes to waste. Eight million. So this is more consistent. If you were to go all hard in purples, when they end up on the bottom, that's actually bigger damage. But you'll also get times where you hit for like three or four million. Um, and then some times where you might hit for 10 or 12, depending how it goes. This is pretty consistently straight up like seven million every time. Uh, you're basically you're basically gonna get yourself uh, three cycle wins with it, but you have to pick your opponents carefully. Stuff can go wrong, um, so it's not what I would call ideal, but it is probably your best option um, on a budget. That was not good. Thank you, game. That was pretty uggy, actually. Pretty uggy. Uh, this one's good. It's going to be very difficult, I think, to get everything being a multiply gem this time. But I think we did it. Yeah, that was horrible by me. We still win, but whatever. Okay. <clears throat> So that's pretty standard for it. Um, again, I wouldn't target Ray necessarily or people with low charges. Most of the people on the road have low charges, to be honest. Um, I could go. You could also use MP. Um, I'm sorry, whatever. You could use Alpha in there to buff blue damage, etc. Now I'll show you against the Showboat. I feel like that pretty much encompasses everything that first match with how this build will run. You can get some boom or bust. Uh, but really, the benefit would be target a showboat and then fall back to a non-showboat um, with the same move set, so you don't have to do any special setup or anything like that. I'm not. Uh, am I on the right? It's hell. It's hell mode, or we have Andre. Yeah. So that's how I would specifically run Logan. Um, targeting the the showboats for the hardcore move and then but you still can win if you have to if there's no showboats to face right um, keeping it still useful ish um, so that's that's what I think is best case use would be that's if I was gonna build him because um, I had trouble with my acrobats and I was on a budget that's the the usage I would have for him so you're gonna see because it's a showboat we're gonna buff to nine uh, which is pretty glorious, actually. Um, I am going to take this one. Because I want to focus on my blue multiplies. This recycles us. And then from here on out, I just want to bust, bust blues. Like that. Actually, let's, uh, six of this half a dozen the other, but let's do that. Very nice. 16 million. Uh, that would be 32 million at gold. So this should be a two cycle win against the showboat. Second one should be even better, assuming you don't get pinned. Should be significantly better. This is really nice. Uh, let's take that one for sure. 
You know what? While we're at it, let's take that one because those are both multiple. This one is really good. Um, this is a really good one. Let's get this two fourteens too, because they were there twice. Yeah, this one is spicy. Very. Oh, this is like as good as you can do. That was twenty five million, fifty million at gold, but don't expect that type of hit. All the time, for sure. That was like butamous mm, chef's kiss, you know. Um, so yeah, I think the 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 blues are more efficient. The you can also like if you for some reason if you are don't have a dog, your gremlin, or it's in use it usage, it's in use. Um, you can go with all heart. I'll go ahead and run one with that just for funsies um, for you guys. And the setup is fairly similar. The only difference um, is you target more of your Wachimajabis, Pyros. You st I would still keep Dom, to be honest, because it lets you do more breakage. Um, Lawler, again, I don't know if that's right. If not, you can go purple gem damage. Uh, really, it's just a plate swap. Everything else is the same, and then you focus more on breaking the Pyro gems than the blues. Depending on where they go, of course. And this is so this is more boom or bust, um, for sure, less consistent. But if it if your pyros cooperate and all of your multiplies don't get broke like that, and this is the other problem. See, he's loaded. This is all sub people. If they get their match and they're loaded, now they're going on their turn, which is less than ideal. Um, this is pretty solid though, because we can get this one and we can row break. We have all that, right? And then we can do that and get that one. This one is going to elude us unless we swap away from a row break. So, and then we can hit some multiplies in between because we're no longer caring about the cascade. Actually, we can do that. No, I'm sorry. This is why I like the other one more because I don't worry about stuff as much. You know what I mean? And I just go faster. Um, although faster is not always better. But sometimes it's better to go slow, you know? That was only 11 million, right? So it's much more of a bust um, than the boom that we had with the blues. It really just depends. Um, I, I definitely prefer the blues more. Um, I just feel like it's way more consistent, you know? Um, and it's, it's smoother to run. It's just less less worrying about it. Pick one pyro row column, column, to blow up and and just go with it. And we really don't want to get subbed by Andre, um, so I'm calling this a video at the end of this. Regardless, this is okay because we have some multiplies here, right? So that's good. This one is great. This is actually a really nice setup here. Um, yeah. Yeah, that's pretty good. And let's just do this. That's pretty good. Not too bad. Look at that. That's a lot of purple. And there's your 22 million, um, 44 million at gold. So that's a much better hit. So that kind of gives you some, some examples of the two ways you could run it. Um, again, I would focus primarily on showboat, but you can, if you need to, in a bind, go lower. So that's Logan Paul on a budget. Um, let me know what you guys think. If the budget wasn't what you're waiting for, it should be coming later this week. Maybe I'll even do it today. I don't know. Um, both at the same time would be interesting. Anyway, let me know what you think in the comments. Remember to like, subscribe, and share. Other than that, guys, thanks for watching and good luck out there. Mm, where's my intro? Oh, there it is. Um... This video is brought to you by Prime Drinks. Um, they...
they paid me in prime drinks. I have like 58 cases. Don't ask me why 58, but 58 cases of prime sitting right beside me. Aha, Rusty, all the prime is mine. <laughs>